don't believe there are good people and bad people. I think we do things that carry ramifications, negative and positive. Okay, sometimes just negative. I'm not gonna hold the thing here. We're playing words with friends. And I don't know if it's karma or guilt and shame, but I do feel badly. Or is it poorly? Whatever, my point is sometimes I wish I could just make amends. Some things I can't make amends for. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. I know, but I'm just trying to make amends. I've used all your milk and, to and toilet paper. You can't accept that. Do you don't know how much I've used? I mean, not to shoot heroin or anything, but just to change, you know, for yoga, gym, dates. Merry Christmas, happy Kwanzaa. And other things, it's not clear whether I really want to make amends or what exactly I'm trying to make amends for. Hi, Mom. Um, hi, I just wanted to call and apologize because I feel like I always use you in my shows when I don't have an organic third beat and, and just in general, but it's it's not like I use like your J-Day profile or something like that. I don't I don't do anything like that. And I, I feel like actually if I was like genuinely apologizing, I wouldn't even be doing this on camera. I would I would just be face to face, which means that maybe I can still use that really weird video of you where you talk about your obsession with Jane Austen. What's so weird about that video? No, the only thing that's weird about that video is the way that I shot it. There was a time I would have felt guilty sharing this video of my mom's obsession with Jane Austen. And now I'd feel guilty if I didn't share it with you. So let me make amends to those who haven't seen my mom discussing her obsession with Jane Austen. It does seem to me as an outsider, it's a little like grown-ups playing dress up. They wore these weird underwear and would push their butts up right up into their chin. Yeah. I'm not wearing it, but just putting it on would make you think, oh my God, what is it like to be a woman then? And you get an answer right away. But you do this more than once, like you guys dress up again and again and again. Well, this year we would be having a, um, a, a ball next week. Oh my goodness, there's a ball next week. We had a vote as to who was the sexiest man. And then we voted on which couple would have the best sex in their marriage. <laughs> the outcome was, well, a lot of people thought that Captain Wentworth and Anne Elliot would be ha very happy together. That was, one of, that was a big vote. I voted for Captain Wentworth too. And who did you vote for the sexiest man? Well, I would have said Mr. Darcy, you know? It certainly isn't Edward Ferrer's, let's put it that way. <laughs> I would have said Mr. Darcy, but as I told you, did I tell you at the last conference what the cheer was? No. <laughs> Tilney rules and Darcy drools. I can't believe that. <laughs> I'm telling you, they all thought Henry Tilney was the best. Now, why did they say Darcy drools? Is that mean or what? Um, all right, Mom, thank you so much for doing this. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Remember, Henry rules and Darcy drools.